This is FRSH by Copacetic. I love finding a familiar face when I'm diving into record labels. This is off the record label Sura Music. I was looking through it because I found like Choke's old EP on it. This is a Copacetic track that's on Sura Music. Let's enjoy it. Again, it's called FRSH, uh, probably pronounced fresh. Crazy. Woohoo! Oh, yeah. Okay, this is some Miami music right now. This is Slug and Lousy Lover off of Lisa's Kickback, a track called Juanita, and the sample is from Oye Como Va, but, but it's, it's the organ sound. Okay, I'm just gonna shut up. Let's enjoy the song. This is About Life by Zuer, and I just feel like this would be such a moment on the dance floor. Whenever I'm looking for music, I always think, okay, if I were in the middle of the crowd and it were 5 a.m. and I wanted something epic to happen, how does this song fit? This song fits. Woohoo! This is We Do What We Want by Alan Fitzpatrick, and it is just such a classic. When I first started DJing, this was one of the first songs that I downloaded. I think I heard it in, I think I actually heard this live and I shazammed it. This song is just such a classic. I, this was definitely one of the first songs that I got into as just a fan of house music. It's the Eat Everything remix of Green Velvet's Flash. Bad little things, but this is no laughing matter. Campus ready, prepare the flash. When this specific track came out, I, I was overjoyed. I felt like the Joker because my smile was so big. I'm a big fan of Black Child. I'm a big fan of St. Germain's early 2000s album, Tourist, okay? So this is Black Child's remix of So Flute off of that St. Germain album. If you don't know that album, it's a lot like Cortex Tropio Blue in that it's fucking legendary. Okay, so this is Black Child's remix of So Flute by St. Germain. I want to play some guitar. I'm not going to do it in this video, but I, I need to make like a grand jam over this because I can play some guitar over this. This is Don't Stop to Play by Shok. A style of house that I really enjoy showing you is something that I like to call filler tracks, where maybe there was a big climax that just happened in your set, and now you want to maybe chill out a little bit, but you want to keep the energy high. This track is a perfect filler track. I've shown you a ton of filler tracks. This is another one, but this one's cool because it's by Shok, and you know that I love Shok. <laughs> This is 
find time by snazzy cracks and it this is gonna be so weird but if i were making some sort of vlog about traveling i would definitely throw this somewhere in there or even like in a casino wearing a tux or, so, or not a tux a uh, suit and tie i i just feel like this song would fit so well in a vlog This is an absolutely unhinged, filthy, disgusting track by Wheats. It's called Method to My Madness, and it's a filler track. In my opinion, this is a great, perfect, dark, dirty filler track that you can throw into your set. This is Scream by Andrea Oliva and you're about to realize why it's called scream it's this is a this is a climax moment in your set everybody in the crowd is just like wow there's a lot of yelling going on <laughs> This is Inside by Amal Nemer, and I love what she does after the beat drops. Hold on. There. Ooh. That's so sick. Like, come on, that, that is just so cool. I found this from John Summit's Ultra 2022 appearance. You know, he gets a lot of shit for being mainstream, and yeah, he has some mainstream songs, but I encourage you to dive into John Summit's catalog. His his shit is very, very good, and his live sets are incredible. The song is called Take You There by Fergie. Wait for it, wait for it. Do you ever show up to a show and all your friends are like, hey, let's stand here. And you look up and there's a gigantic 30 inch sub right there. And you realize, oh wait, all my friends can be here because they have earbuds in. I don't have any earbuds. Well, check this out. There is a new event company called Zensky, and they're about to have their first ever event at Zayze in Miami. This is the Wednesday right before Thanksgiving. And not only will you be able to get free earplugs if you go there, but you'll be able to see this legend that we're listening to right now, DJ Minx. Yeah absolute legend and the cool thing about Zensky is that they're focused on female DJs so the lineup is almost primarily female DJs which is incredibly cool I encourage you to check it out if you're in Miami the night before Thanksgiving which is always a very very fun night I did not need to look very deep into Rafa Barrios' catalog to find something that I absolutely loved. This is his track, Final Piano. And Rafa Bar like the tracks that I found to get to this are literally incredible. And guess what? If you are in Tampa on Wednesday, November 27th, you can win two VIP tickets to see Rafa Barrios by using my discount code to purchase a ticket. My discount code is RADIO, R-A-D-I-O. The show is at the Cuban Club, and you can see Rafa Barrios play songs just like this by using my discount code RADIO. You can win two VIP tickets to see him. indicator of an incredible artist is when you look into their back 
catalog and find something that you absolutely love. This is a track called Oral, A-U-R-A-L by Rafa Barrios. And if you like this track, you can see him in Tampa, the Cuban Club, Wednesday, November 27th. You can use my discount code RADIO to purchase a ticket, which will enter you into a competition to win two VIP tickets to the show. So use my rate, use my discount code RADIO to buy tickets. The ticket link is in my bio. There is just something absolutely badass about a female rapping on a house track, especially when it's a Paco Asuna and an Iglesias track. I mean, listen to this. Uh, another example of an incredible female vocal on a track is Takeover by Eric Chico. Just wanted to make sure that I mentioned that because that is such an incredible track. Nonetheless, this is a track called Playing with Folk, F O C dot dot dot, by Paco Asuna and Iglesias. This is my favorite drop by Michael Bibby, so let's listen. It's Devil's Candy by Michael Bibby. Right now, we are in the, and I use that word pop purposely, the golden era of minimal deep tech. The era of minimal deep tech is currently happening. There are more house music record labels than there have ever been before. And this style of music is absolutely massive. And I'm more than happy to yap about it. This is Graham Radio, and you're listening to HWG by Weeks. <laughs> I've mentioned before that I try to keep Graham Radio PG, PG 13 ish. We're, this is a funny house track by Falamar called Girl with Attitude, and we're not going to listen to any of it. So, for the commenters who always want me to play the music before I start talking, sorry, not happening here because I'm not trying to get my account like messed with via the Instagram overlords. So, go and listen to it. Girl with Attitude by Falamar. Bring it, um, just, just go and listen to it. Okay, that's, okay, okay. <laughs> if you've been following my account for more than about 15 seconds, you're aware that I'm a big fan of Bison Lopez. Like, a few recurring people that you might see following my account are um, Bison Lopez, Choke, Eric Chico, and so many other names. This is a track by Bison Lopez off of the record label Cibla. And let's just listen, because it is just so good. The track is called Old Soul and New Sound. No one has sent me more unreleased music than Disco Dayton, and I love him for that. He's been around Immersive Groove since I started Immersive Groove, which is so cool. I, the, my, my personal unreleased collection on this dude is, is, just, is just insane. Now, this is his recent edit of NEZ Honey Love. The track is called Let's Get Sexy. It's on SoundCloud. Let's listen to it. This is a 2017 track called Human by another ANOTR, and it's like, it's almost invasive to hear because of all of the human guttural sounding samples. Let's just listen. Like, doesn't that sound guttural to you? It's like... It gets, it gets 
pretty wild, so check this one out. This is Sodom and Demora by Ivan Debris. I'm a big fan of live instrumentation, and a lot of Ivan Debris' music is playing piano live, which I love, so check this out. <laughs> This is House Y'all by Tony Romero. And when I hear this, I just hear like, if you're on the aux at a pregame, you should play this. This is Pitch Thing by Tony Romero, and it is such a peak time climaxy track. Like, like, I'm gonna rewind a little bit because he, like, it, he takes it really, really. He he brings the BPM way down, and it's just it's just sick. So listen. Can't do This is Step Forward by Ben Sterling. Someone sent this to me, and I have been incapable of not listening to it over the last week. It's been on repeat, and it's just so good. Yeah. 